Please, please. Lads, as you, as you know, um, the, the owner of the hotel, I don't know his name, has done a similar to what the owner of the Bush Hotel did. He's cancelled it on health and safety grounds. Great. Um, so, basically, what happened... Lads, basically, um, as you know, we were protesting here today to do with the Ganley Waters auction, auction family, there's family farms. They pulled 18 properties, they've told us this morning, out of, out of 44, um, which means, you know, that they basically ran a big advertisement campaign, terrorizing people whose farms and properties were in it, and they don't see to have any role. We saw the meeting with them, Deputy Matty McGrath attended the meeting in their office six or eight weeks ago, and they told us one of their directors was on holidays and they would come back to us for a meeting. And they pushed ahead with the advertisements to try and push against the will of the Irish people. So basically they have now, the auction is cancelled. And there's a number of people here this morning whose properties now are saved. And hopefully we send the message to the banks to sit down and talk to these people. One particular person was being blackmailed by staff in the bank. And if we find who those staff are, we will put their pictures and their home addresses up on a website yeah. in future. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because yes. This is Danske Bank. And we're sending a message to Danske Bank today that we will identify the senior managers in their bank and post their pictures and the information on what they're doing to the Irish people, the terrorism that a Danish bank is doing in Ireland. And it sh the Danish people should be ashamed of the Danish bank. I'll let Maddie speak now. I just, I can add to just to tell you, hold on. The gals are good to the man. Robert Craig is good to have to call the gals back in now. Yeah, okay, leave now. Just like, thank you all for coming. We have to stand together on these issues. If we don't, we're going over. I did attend the meeting in, in their offices with Jerry and some of the lads about a farm in Wexford that evening and they promised to come back to us and they didn't. They've come here today now with huge advertising and thanks to the one of the owners of the hotel, he told me, I met him at PJ, I can't even think of him, he's called it off for health and safety. I hope it's for other reasons as well because we're peaceful. I don't want to be involved in anything and none of you do, that's not a peaceful protest. But we can't have Danske Bank and other banks doing this. I'm in negotiations with RT, with RT at the moment, RT Radio. Because you know, Dancy Bank sponsor the most talked to and the most listened to show, uh, the um, five, uh, drive, drive time, and um, they've told me that the contract is up in September and they won't be renewing it. But I have I have challenged them umpteen times. A bank that's creating such havoc in this country and have exited the country, leaving the mess behind them, and they're sponsoring one of our national broadcasters' main program. It's an insult to the people of Ireland. But I'm fighting that issue in Dáil Éireann and with the managing director of RTE, and I just want to thank you all today and to say that I intend to stand with you and the Line League and. What we want is normal commerce to go ahead. Someone has goodwill to sell something and the auctioneer sell it. That's normal business, no problem with that. I come and stay in a hotel in Dublin every week and I pay my uh, fees. And that's the way, normal business. We don't want to interrupt the hotel and we apologise to the hotel staff for that matter or anybody that's felt a bit intimidated. We don't want that. We want to be listened to, to be talked with and sit down the same as Dancer are selling up loan books and other big banks, selling it to conglomerates so within the banks often and they won't deal with the people who have the outstanding loans. So, well done, I was going to Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you. 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 Thank Sorry. When everybody's assembled here, the other issue that was on the press releases that went out is the 6,000 evictions <coughs> that have been sanctioned by the government, by the Minister for Finance and Enda Kenny and the Governor of the Central Bank. Matty raised it in the Dáil yesterday and Enda Kenny, Matty will explain himself what happened. Well, I did raise it and asked him and challenged him and he denied it, uh, as he denies everything. It was quite incensed at the idea. I think it was more the fact that I found out about it is what he was incensed about. But we'll wait and see. And I said to him, I hope I'm wrong. He said I was wrong. I said I hope I'm wrong. So we believe that we're not wrong, that they are going to move on these homes and we're, that is going to happen. But look, we have to be very vigilant and fight these because the family unit is very important to all of us and we can't go back to the dark old days. Just, just on that issue and for any of the media that are here, the 6,000 figures we got, I got from some official in the central bank, or central bank and the Department of Finance last week because they were both shocked. We were at a seminar in Griffith College on insolvency and, and repossessions the other day and the figures were given out by somebody from the insolvency service. 3,000 
eviction notices were served in the last quarter, the last half of last year, and 3,000 in the first quarter. So the 6,000 <coughs> eviction notices are there. And welfare yeah. officers will tell you around the country, they, their offices are inundated. I have a welfare officer up in Sligo wants us to go up and address a meeting there next Thursday. He has eight people in his office with these eviction notices, and he doesn't know what to do. There is no t joined up thinking. There is no housing policy to rehouse the people. And there may be up to 175,000 evictions out of a half a million people that are in trouble. This is madness, absolute madness, and no joined up thinking by government. And I, can, I, I can say, any other politician can say, because on a weekly basis, I have people come to my clinics that are facing evictions. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's going on, but just everyone is keeping quiet about it because they're suffering and they're being intimidated, but it's only right this is highlighted. Where, where are 6,000 houses? Where are All over the country. 6,000 eviction numbers families. Have, all, families have already been served, and those people are afraid to tell their neighbours. So you need to go and ask your neighbours <coughs> that you suspect to give them support and help. Here, we take this man for calling off the thing and help and say yes, thank you. It's important people here. Could I just ask you all yeah. there that... Um, thank you. Thank you. You didn't organise the room for yourself because we would, would have been able to facilitate you. But if I could ask you, we have a business to run here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's put yeah. it in an ordinary fashion. They take a profit. Thank you. Thank you. What's no available for services? Be tea, coffee, or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're more than welcome to do. Thank you. 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 Thank